This guide will show you how to convert an IKEA Flissa table into a MakerIt arcade. You will need uh, some kind of a ruler, a countersink bit. This is very helpful to create uh, clear holes for your screws. One button, one joystick, uh, one pencil, some uh, masking tape, and a drill bit with a one inch and an eighth uh, bit. All right, so let's start by removing all the tools and we're gonna keep the crayon and the masking tape. So we're gonna wanna put our buttons around four inches from the side of the, of the board. So I'm gonna go and measure that and I'm gonna make a little mark here. Now to avoid uh, leaving marks or anything like that, what I'm gonna do is place a layer of masking tape over over my board. I'm gonna kind of a sh overshoot here. And also this will help when you when you're drilling to avoid splintering the wood. Alright. Now that it is masked, we can actually mark the four inches line. So this is where we're gonna wanna have our buttons. Uh, now from this area, I'm gonna be looking at being at least four inch for the side and here four inch from the side. And the reason I do that is that you have this bin that comes under it and it has an edge, so you wanna avoid that. So you have potentially, and this is where the buttons comes in, if you take the button out, and take the ring out you can mark your button and figure out where it's gonna go so that's the joystick is gonna roughly be around here and now we have our two buttons here so I'm gonna move this button to the left so maybe I'm gonna go here we're gonna be three inches three inches from the side and then I'm going to leave two inches between the buttons and the second button is going to go there. All right, so we've got one drilling point here, one here, and this will look roughly like this. You can definitely come up with your own layout. There's no real science behind this. Okay, so once you have that, take out all these things from the table, put on your glasses. Let's get the drill out. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is drill through the table. I've removed the bins, so I can't show that, but the bins are gone. Make sure you remove the bins. And now here we go. Okay, now the hole is done. And we can grab the joystick and place it over the hole. I'm gonna try to keep that joystick straight with respect to the table. And center it in the hole. So to center it, we're gonna, I'm gonna trace the center of the hole, the table here, so we know where the center is, and then put the joystick back. You don't want to see this line over the hole here. And then position it here. Now once you have that, go ahead and mark the various holes of your joystick. So you've got four holes here that are ready to be drilled. Now take your drill back, take out the drill bit and get the countersink grip. And this is great, it's gonna pre-drill a hole, it also is gonna create a, a cavity for the head of your screw to hide. So you get a flush table. So go ahead and drill four holes here. There we 
we go. Now, you've done one side of your table, and to create the other side, you're gonna use these holes as a template. So now remove the, this, remove the other side of the table, and lay it out on top. Don't flip it. And you lay it out and you place it exactly at the same spot. You can use masking tape to make sure they are they're aligned. Or you can use anything you want really. There we go. We're gonna line them, tape them together a few times, making sure they're not moving. All right. And now that you've done that, you can go ahead and mark the center of the holes where you want to drill. Same here. And here we're just gonna go ahead and, and drill a bit. Once this is done, remove, remove the cover. I've got my four holes and my two marks here. I'm gonna mark them a little bit more. Okay, I wanna put some masking tape again. Prevent the wood from rendering. Okay, I don't need it. I need it only for the, the big holes. All right, and once it's done, time to drill again. Actually, I have this one, so I can just do that. One, two, three, four, swap. There we go. Now we've got our two player one, player two buttons. And we can remove the masking tape here. It's ready to be installed. We've got our mounting holes for the joystick. So the buttons will go like this. The joystick will come from the bottom and mount in the center. The last step is going to be to drill the holes for the menu system. And again, to do that, and you want to do that on this side, what you're gonna do is we're gonna turn this around and now we're gonna use this sheet as a template to have two holes for it. And then once you have that, you can go ahead and mark two holes, three holes, depending on how many buttons you want in there. Go ahead and pre-drill a bit before so we know where the, the hole is. Put a layer of masking tape. Let's go and drill this. And these are going to be the reset and restart drilling buttons. That's it, we're done. We've got player one. Roll. Player two. Now you can use the wire harness you've built to assemble the tape.